Hey, hi there you guys, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly Psychic Tarot and Oracle card reading. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. This is a general reading. Remember to check your rising and moon and Venus signs for a more complete picture. They do meld together. There is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below, and it can help you out with these kind of readings. Pisces, I'd like to thank you so much for supporting my channel. The likes, the subscribes, they truly help me out a lot. Thank you. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Weight deck. One card from the Wisdom of the Oracle, one Divine Feather message, and one quote from a famous person. And now here's your first card, Pisces. It's the general atmosphere. It's the basis of the matter. The King of Wands. Pisces, fire energy person, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This can be in their chart or in your chart. This can be a male or a female in a general reading. This is someone that's mature, and they've learned to control their fiery passions. They're influential and independent. This is someone that they, they help those that they care about. You can rely on their honesty and intelligence. They're fair-minded and they're loyal, and they give good advice. This can also refer to a situation which is, it is exactly as it appears to be with no hint of deception. This can also indicate good fortune coming your way. Could be in the form of unexpected help or advice or good news, or a promotion. This is passion for a project and spinning things around in your head. This is someone that's charismatic. They're handsome and passionate. They're agile in their mind and body. They're loyal and noble, and sometimes they're too hasty. They can get bored by the predictable. This is someone that's strong with a powerful belief in their self and their achievements, and they're able to dominate others through willpower and self-confidence. This is someone that dislikes details. They would rather lead than follow. Yet they're charming and inspiring, and they're wise about business, and they know when to take action and how to create harmonious human relationships in the process. He's in your life now, or he's soon going to appear. He may have already been a strong and positive influence. This also tells us that the time is right to advance your goals and explore your possibilities. This can be good news to further your goals. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Pisces. The Five of Swords. This can be a challenge. It brings in tension. It can be an obstacle to your forward progress. Air energy. Venus in Aquarius. This is a no-win situation. It's someone, can represent someone that makes you want to look small so they can look big. They may use their words. They can be cutting this is choosing your battles and do not overreact. Fives are pivotal turning points. This is someone that has an over-excessive will, a rational self-interest. They're looking out for number one. This may have to do with misunderstandings and having to defend yourself. It can be advice to avoid a battle that cannot be won. It would be an empty victory, a battle of wills. This is a need to avoid negative people and drama. It can also indicate the ending of a relationship. There's ego involved issues here. Someone felt they were stepped on, so they retaliate. It would be petty. It brings in fr friction and hostility and tension. It can be an unhealthy competition or a betrayal. 
Fives are about adjustment. And this is a change that's brought on by distress or loss. It's uncomfortable, but it's necessary. It's a necessary change and adjustment. But now is the time for change. It's needed to get back on track. So look for a better direction. And someone may have to admit defeat. There's no winners, so they just have to withdraw. Because someone likes to provoke a reaction. They could be a bully. They might have a lot of baggage. They make empty promises. They can be an energy vampire. They constantly complain, or they're snappy, or they're non-stop talking. You'll just need to walk away because someone just wants to argue. The King of Wands with the Five of Swords is finding difficulty communicating. It's hostility and selfishness, and conflict may always be present. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Pisces. The Page of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. I know this is a card of communication. It can also represent a young person. Or a fire could be in your chart. This is the beginning of something. It's a trigger point. Could have to do with a project or a love affair, or it could even be a new phase in life. This can be new ideas, a proclamation, an invitation, a declaration, even an announcement. It can be an initiation. This is a message of importance to your current project or situation. It usually affects work, although it can be of a social nature, and this information is positive. This is the fool's little brother, but pages, all of them, they can tend to lack follow-up. This is standing at the threshold of a newly inspired direction. And we always feel the page's influence when we're drawn to something that could accelerate our personal growth and enable us to be and express more of who we truly are. It's being intrigued and hopeful and inspired and trustworthy, a beginner. It's embarking on self-development and sensing potential for creative or spiritual expansion. It's pursuing adventure. The King of Wands with the Page of Wands represents new ideas. This can be a person who may be a social media expert. These are ideas that have been seen as revolutionary or new. Your fourth card, it's a position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Pisces, you've got the Queen of Swords, Air Energy Person, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Now, this is someone that's been around a lot. They very high-minded. They handle change because they know what to do. They may be a professional. They're independent and mature. They have authority, they have a keen mind, they can be a writer, a lawyer, or a minister, they can be in the military, or in a, in a uniform, or a law officer. They may be divorced or widowed, and they're able to cope with loss, and they provide solutions with truth and honesty. They are a great teacher and a communicator, and they teach us to accept life as it is. This is someone that has great clarity of thought. And it's pursuing your desires with strength and maturity. This is someone that treasures solitude, and they're able to overcome loneliness by doing independent projects. Yet they may be overcritical, even of their own thoughts. They need to learn to have greater compassion for their self and others. It's this they've known sorrow and loss, and this experience has enhanced her wisdom. And this is someone that loves to share their, their knowledge. They have an agile mind. They can come across as impatient or sharp or intelligent, intolerant. It's just that their mind works so fast they forget to make allowances so they can be cutting with their words. They just need to be 
advised to consider other people's feelings when they speak the truth. It can also represent professional counsel may be needed, so look for forthright and clear characteristics, and be clear in your decisions and your behavior, and make sure your point of view is thought through, and with sharp wit and self-possession, then stand by it. This is leaving your past behind and making sure your dreams are not interfering with your responsibilities. The King of Wands with the Queen of Swords. This is the best match because air and fire energies enhance each other. This is someone, she appreciates his philosophical side. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen is because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this, Pisces. Here's one of your cards. Number 12 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, The Hanged Man. Um, let's see, um, Neptune is the one that rules this card, and that brings in some confusion. This is one of your cards, Pisces. Not that you're confused. But this is just seeing things differently than others. And you're able to look from all different angles. It's waiting and working on yourself before you can do something. It could have to do with a sacred pursuit. You may be attached to it. But this has to do with a new perspective. And then a sacrifice. It's a sur self-surrender to higher wisdom. And a surrendering to what is. This is a very spiritual card. It's wisdom, prophetic powers, spiritual matters. This is a pause in life and suspended decisions. This is a self-surrender that leads to the transformation of the personality. It is now an obsession or material temptation that can be conquered. It's wisdom and circumspection and discernment trials and sacrifice, being wary and cautious. It's intuition and divination and prophecy, patience and waiting and revealing. There may be a need to change course or to let the universe solve a problem without your input. This is someone that may be clinging to something unfulfilling. They may need to let go and move on. This is being suspended between the past and the future. It's doing your research and not listening to the media or outside influences. And it's not doing things that harm us. It's not letting others tell us how to think or what to say or letting public opinion sway us. Could be waiting for a sign to let go. It may be some unfinished business with someone you may have blocked. There's a need to balance out intuition and sensitivity with balance and logic. This is a voluntary giving up of something in order to get something of a greater value. It's new inside awareness and enlightenment. It's releasing a mindset that is no longer useful. And it's having your life simply suspended for a time so that you can recognize what needs to be changed in the personality to embody more light. That's what the nimbus around the man's head represents. The king of wands with the hanged man is a change of perspective. This is waiting for the right time. It can be frustration with delay. It can also represent the modern man. The five of swords with the Page of Wands, represents a bully. They're immature, they could be jealous. It's a conflict with your enthusiasm or adversity to your creative solutions. The Five of Swords with the Queen of Swords is bitterness. This can represent a mean person or being mean to people. The Queen of Swords with the Hanged Man represents antisocial behavior. There's a warning to keep an eye on someone who may be messing with you. The Page of Wands with the Queen of Swords is a quick and passionate and direct communication or an idea. The Page of Wands with the Hanged Man, this is the first step on a creative journey. 
This is a period of inaction and self-exploration. The Queen of Swords with the Hanged Man is making a tough decision, and this may be someone that may be at the mercy of other people's actions. Here's your Wisdom of the Oracle Card, Oracle card by Colette Baron reed Card number 36, Come to the Edge. Card number 36, Pisces, Come to the Edge. Courage, taking a leap of faith. Well, there's that link back to the Page of Wands, because that is the Fool's little brother. Overcoming fear and accepting risk. Facing the unknown is the only choice you have really right now if you want to progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take a risk that is not calculated, to feel the acceleration and be ready yourself for a leap of faith. Spirit is present, so let go of fear. You are called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar so you may find your miracles. Here's the relationship message. It's scary to be truly intimate with someone, to allow him or her to see all of you, especially the parts that you've kept hidden and protected. Now is the time to take that risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It's important that you speak up, voice what you need, state who you are, say what you hope for. This is not the time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. You will be glad you did. If you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step toward the gods, and they will deliver what you truly desire. Here's the prosperity message. If ever there was a time for you to take a leap of faith into the unknown, it is now. This is the perfect moment to take a big risk. The unknown is the only choice now, and if you come to the edge, you will discover treasure beyond your wildest dreams. Allow your courage to lead you in spite of your fears, and don't and you don't need to know the exact form of what you're going for. The essence is much more powerful, and spirit has a way of delivering an even better version of prosperity than you could imagine. Take that step. The results will be amazing. Here's your Divine Feather message from Allison Nicola, And this is the feather of Meadowlark, Pisces. Smile. You will soon experience a wonderful journey of inner discovery, like the hangman says. Mental lark. Smile. You will soon experience a wonderful journey of inner discovery. And here's your quote from a famous person. Too many of us are not living our dreams because we are living our fears. By Les Brown. Too many of us are not living our dreams because we are living our fears. Thanks, you guys, Pisces. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Hope you can feel it. Thanks. Mm -hmm.